But morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video. Today, I'll be ranking all of Villa's players and how their season has gone so far. I think there's 26 of them, so obviously you've got the whole first team, the subs, some of them reserves. Um, I'm just going to rank. I've got five categories. You've got elite, good, average, not Premier League quality, and just please leave. Shout out to George Akelia, he's a Tottenham fan, he did a video like this, um, so that's basically where I got the idea um, of this video from. It's not copying, basically it's a tough time at the moment, you all know that, so it was a really good video idea, so fair play to George, I'll leave a link to that video um, down there. Um, I did actually do a video with my sister the other day, Q and A, so if you haven't already checked out that video, feel free to do that, the sun is in my eyes. Also, excuse the trim, obviously can't get a haircut at the moment, but if this video gets 1,800 likes, which it won't, but if it, if it does hit that, I'll shave my head for a video. So if you do want to see that, leave a like, 1,800, I'll shave my head. Anyway, quick shout out to OneFootball, um, obviously there's not a lot of football going on at the moment, if any. But One Football still has loads of articles, like All Star 11s, um, loads of goals, loads, you know, showing loads of old games and articles on everything. So even though there isn't a lot of football, feel free to download One Football. Top link in the description. It's free on everything. Download One Football. Lots of news on there. But without further ado, on to ranking these players. So we've got it here. Apologies that you, <laughs> some of the players' faces are a little bit cut off. There's not much I can do about that. But the first one, Hotter. Um, also, just quick disclaimer, I've done no preparation for this video at all, I'm doing it straight off the bat. Hotter, I'm going to put him in average. I think, you know, he had a, he had a very good pre-season, he looked like a world beater, but he just, I can't remember the last time he played. Like, I know he played against Everton in August, but I can't remember the, the last time he actually played. I just don't think he's fast enough. I just don't, yeah, he's not, not quite that. Actually, 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 I'm going to take him down to not Premier League quality. Sorry. Next, the big man, Samasa, going to put him up into good. Obviously, he's only been at Villa for, what, a month, if that? Just a month and a half, something like that. Um, scored a few goals, decent record already. He looks like a really good player. If you can give him service, he'll score goals. So he has potential to move up to elite, but for right now, I'm going to leave him in good. Next up, you won't be able to see his face, but this is Keenan Davis. I'm going to put him in average. I love Keenan Davis. I think he's a really good player. Um, just injuries have just shafted him a little bit. Like If he could stay fit all of the time, I think he could be, you know, potential to be our starting uh, number nine. But yeah, injuries have done him. It's his hamstring. Not ideal. Maybe he could do with a loan deal, but yeah, I still like him. Top man. Next up, McGinn. No questions about it. Straight into elite. Top man. I've missed him. He hasn't played for three months. He was just getting back when um, this whole sort of situation happened. So we will see him again, hopefully, at some point. But yeah, he's got to go in elite, no doubt about that. Oh, Pepe, 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 Pepe. Um, if this was after the Leicester game, I'd put you down there. But as I'm a little bit level-headed, I'm going to put him in average. I think, what, is he 38 now? <sighs> I'd rather have Heaton, that's all I'm going to say. Now, Henry Lansbury. Um, not Premier League quality. The only thing he's done this season is this. That's a foul! He can't keep fit. I don't think he's Premier League quality, so that's why I've stuck him down there. Connor. Oh, I love Connor. Big fan. Um, I'm going to mm, I'm gonna put him in average. He hasn't played a lot of football this season. When he has, he's been a bit hot and cold. Like that Norwich game in Boxing Day, he changed the game. But in other occasions, like Watford away, two days later, he was just absent. So I'm going to put him in average. I love him. I get a lot of stick for saying I love him that much. But yeah, average for Connor. Oh, um, Danny Drinkwater. Uh, do you know what, right? Do you know what? I'm going to make a whole new category for Danny Drinkwater. Going to put him all the way down there. Danny. There you go, fella. Oh, I've spelled it wrong. Ah! Yeah, I, I, mm, I don't know what to say. Anyway, moving on. Freddie Gilbert. I like Freddie Gilbert. He gets a lot of stick. He was poor in Southampton away game and the Leicester away game, but I think there's potential there. He's still young. I think there's going to be a lot of average. There's going to be a lot of average players, but yeah, we'll move on. Jimmy C, James Chester. Now, obviously, he's on loan at Stoke. Uh, I'm going to be harsh. I love the guy. I really, really do love him. But I'm going to put him in not Premier League quality because I think the injuries have you know, got him. He's the wrong side of 30. I just don't think he was ever going to be able to play in the Premier League Championship. I'm sure he could be a decent player still, but not for me. Tom Heaton. I thought he was very, very good and up until he got injured. He was that bit of Premier League experience that we were missing. Obviously, you know, 
we are missing it now. Um, obviously, instructing from the back, he's a good leader. You know, always consistent, making wonderful saves. And I miss him. I'm going to put him in good. I love the guy. Hopefully, we'll see him again. Whether he will, we'll have to wait and see. Um, <laughs> who's that? Who is that? Oh, I think it's Wesley. Apologies for that, lads. You can't see his head, but that is Wesley. I'm going to put him in our fridge. I think I do miss him. I think he's a bit of a battering run up, up top. He got a lot of stick um, earlier on in the season, but... He just couldn't quite find his feet. He's still very young. I think people underestimate how young he actually is. Um, I'm going to put him in average. He has potential, but this season alone, bang average. This could be fun. Douglas Luiz. I'm hovering around these two. I'm going to... Mm, okay. Again, he's still very young. He's only 21. He's actually younger than Keenan Davis, I think, which a lot of people actually forget. But I'm going to put him in not Premier League quality. Um... Obviously, he has potential to, in the future, if he was in a side like Man City, like I keep on saying, he might flourish, but when he's in a relegation battle with Villa, he doesn't look Premier League quality, in my opinion. So, it might be a little bit harsh. You probably disagree, but that's where I'm putting him. Big Bjorn Engels. The Tottenham incident is still fresh in my brain. Dreadful mistake from Engels. I think there's a mistake in him, 100% there's a mistake in him, but I'm going to put him in bang average, I think he is, I think he needs Mings next to him in order to put, in order, in order to perform, but average for me. Matt Target, I'm a bit torn on Target, I think he's got a lot of stick this season, but then when, then again in the Leicester home game in the Cup, when he links up with Grealish, he can be a really, really good fullback. So I'm hovering between these two. Again, I'm going to be boring and put him in average, which I think a lot of our players are going to be because I think we're a bang average side. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put him in average. Anwar, I'm sorry, not Premier League quality. I loved him last season, but this season he just looks a little bit, you know, confident shot. Where's that Anwar Agazi from the playoff final from Albion away in uh, last December? Where's he gone? He looks like he's got no, you know, sort of confidence at all. Yeah, it's sad. It is sad because we do know that that Anwar Agassi is there. We know there is a player there. It's just frustrating when he struggles to take a man on. He's not exactly the, the fastest and he just frustrates me a lot. So that's why I'm putting him down there. It may be a little bit harsh, but that's what I'm saying. Again, a player with half a face. Jed Steer, average. I love the guy. It is a massive shame that he got injured and we've heard nothing from him since like November when he got injured. Um, against Wolves. So that is a shame. Obviously, the heroics from last season against Albion. Excuse to watch that clip again. But yeah, it is a shame that Jeff Steers had these massive injury problems throughout his whole career. Um, I think he's a good goalkeeper. It's just a shame injuries have got him. Courtney Orr's, um, I think I'm going to put him in not Premier League quality. Um, we got him from Wolves Reserves, which says it all really. I don't, obviously he's come in, he played three at the back with Constant and Mings. Um, I think it was the start of the year and he looks okay. He was nothing, nothing special. I think he's got a little bit of a mistake in him, but yeah, I don't, I don't think he's a Premier League standard centre half. I think he's good in the championship, but not really. Neil. Neil, Neil, Neil. Going to put him again in not Premier League quality. Um, I think he's be good in the championship, but he just makes me nervous when I watch him. Um, so I'm going to put him in not Premier League quality again. Like Courtney Orr's, I think he'd be decent in the championship, but in the Premier League, not for me. Next up, another man with half a face missing, Trezeguet. Um, I'm going to be slightly harsh and put him in not Premier League quality. I just he just frustrates me a lot. Like when he gets the ball, he looks a little bit clueless. His shots aren't the best. His dribbling isn't the best. I know he hasn't played a lot of football, and I may be being a little bit harsh on him, but I think he needs to play a little bit more, get a run of games maybe. But for me, not the best. Although of course that goal against Leicester, I'll forever be grateful for that choice. But the rest of the season. Esri Concert, again, a very, very young player, which I think where recruitment comes into it, I think we're buying players for the future, but right now they're just not good enough. 
Um, I think he's okay. Again, I'm going to put him in bang average. He needs the likes of Mings and you know maybe even Engels next to him. Um, but I think in the future, no doubt about it, he'll be a very good player. But right now, not for me. Elite, elite, elite. No question about it. Jack Grealish goes right at the top. The poster boy for Villa. He's carried us this season. If we didn't have him, we'd probably be bottom of the league. He's got a lot of crucial goals this season. He can do wonders with the football. Get him in the England squad. No doubt about it. Elite. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ahmed El Mahamedi. I love the guy. I'm going to put him in average, actually. Some would put him in not Premier League quality. I think he is as a backup, maybe, but I like him. Obviously, he has a, a wonderful right foot swinging in balls into the box, but that's probably like one in three that you can actually put in a good ball. Um, I think he's a little bit slow again, like Chester and Taylor. He's the wrong side of 30. Um, but I'm going to be kind. Put him in average. Marv, 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 Marv. I'm toying between these two. No, actually, I'm going to be kind. I'm going to put him in average. I think when he came in, he looked very, very good, but then he went off the boil massively and looked really poor. Uh, but in recent weeks, well, I say recent weeks, you know what I mean, he, he has looked a little bit better. That tackle, uh, if I can find it, I'll put it in now. That tackle on Aguero in the, um, in the Carabao Cup final was fantastic. Absolutely love that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put him in average. Again, he's fairly young, so he's got potential, but right now, average. Oh, Jan Nyland. Oh, um... Do you know what? No, I'm going to put him in average. I don't love him. I don't hate him. I think he had a difficult time at Villa in the Championship, but right now he's showing his class. He's become a little bit more confident. That Leicester game just sticks in my head. Um, the Leicester game at home in the Cup. Fantastic. Kept us in the game. No doubt about it. Fair play to him. Last but not least, the big man, Tyrone Mings. I'm going to put him at the top in elite with McGinn and Grealish. I think he's fantastic. He's he's had a few iffy moments like Man United away, um, but majority of the season he's... I know our defence has been shocking this season, let's be honest, but if it wasn't for him, it would be even worse. I know, I know that's hard to imagine, but fair play to Mings. Um, elite, love the guy. And yeah, I know, it was, I know he was expensive at the start of the season, but top man, going to put him at the top. Actually, I think I've been fairly kind there. Looking at that, I've put no one to leave. If I did want any, anyone to leave, it would be the likes of Lansbury and Taylor, maybe. Um, but yeah, Danny Drinkwater gets his own category at the bottom. I think I've been fairly kind. Looking at that, I think the majority of our squad is just bang average, and that's why we are 19th in the Premier League. Um, so let me know your thoughts. Do you agree? Probably not. If you don't agree, don't dislike the video. We're all entitled to our opinion, so let me know yours in the comments. Reminder, 1,800 likes for me to shave my head. If you want to see it, like the video, subscribe if you are new. Go and check out all the other recent videos I've done. Um, and yeah, buy some Luke, Max 20, you know the drill. Thank you very much for watching. Up the filler.